Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna be making, or I'm gonna be using my Dutch oven to make a recipe. And I'm going to be making the creamy soup. So hopefully it tastes good. This is my first time. I just went on Pinterest and kind of looked up recipes that I could make um, using the Dutch oven. So I have my ingredients set up here. So you'll need some onion, some bacon, butter, garlic, cheese, chicken stock, heavy whipping cream, and of course I got, you need chicken, I got chicken thighs. So let's see how this turns out. Oh, and we also need spinach, but that's drying. So I'm gonna start off by frying the bacon. And after that, I'm gonna take it, take the bacon off the stove and then I'm gonna saute some um, onions. So I am frying up the bacon. Get this nice and crispy. Okay, guys, it's pretty browned up, so I'm gonna take it out and turn it on a paper top. All right, so I put the chicken thighs in here, skin side down, so you can get a little color on the skin side. And I'm gonna season this with a little bit of salt and this organic no salt seasoning. It's a little bit of everything in there. That's how it looks. I'll give it another three to four minutes and then I'll take it out, put it on a plate, and I'll start sauteing the onions and garlic. And now I have the onions in here sauteing and I'll give them like a three or four minutes and then I'll throw in garlic in there as well. And we're going to add four cups of chicken broth, four to six cups. You're gonna wanna scrape the bottom so you can get all those little pieces that got stuck on there. That's what's so great about a Dutch oven. I think, you know, it makes everything very flavorful. We're gonna stir. We're gonna let that come to a boil and then I will add the chicken. So I added the chicken thighs and a bay leaf in there. And I'm gonna cover this up and let it cook for 40 to 45 minutes. And then I'll take the chicken out and shred it. Ooh, so we have the soup. The chicken's been boiling for a while, so I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna let it cool so then I can shred it and debone it. And guys, this smells really good. Hopefully it tastes good. All right, let's stop it for now. I'm going to add the cream cheese and whisk it in until it's completely melted. As you can see now, the cream cheese has completely melted and I'm gonna add the last couple of ingredients, which is the cheese and the heavy whipping cream and the spinach. And then I'll shred up the chicken and add it into there. I'm gonna add about a cup of cheese. I'm gonna mix it. So I added the chicken, the shredded chicken. It's already in there. I'm just giving it a good mix and I'm gonna be adding the spinach. Right. And I'm gonna mix it for another two minutes. So here goes the spinach. And you guys can add as much as you want or, you know, I'm adding about four cups of of spinach to it. Let me give this a mix. Spinach has been in there for two minutes and I'm gonna add a little bit of heavy whipping cream to it. So I'm gonna add the heavy whipping cream and give it another mix. for about two more minutes and then this is ready to eat. 